Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. This is Evelina Marley, Lady of the Realm. And on this special edition of Tea Time, I have an interesting proposition for you. It's a very hard thing to accept in our culture, but I believe it is the topic of. Racism. I was watching one of Undertaker Freak's videos last night that was all about how uh, racist statements are made. And sorry, let me start thinking about taking stuff, doing stuff after showers. Anyways, about racism, uh, how sometimes we'll take words such as the um, <coughs> quote unquote N word and use it in a inappropriate way, okay. or change it so it'll fit our modern sensibilities. And I sort of like the point that he said, you know, it doesn't matter regardless of what time period you live in and what world you live in, that word is still offensive. Yeah. I mean, yes, I believe it means uneducated person, you know, fool, or an ignorant person, and the funny thing is, guess what? I'm not an ignorant person. And using that towards black people really isn't fair, considering in the quality of lives we live. It doesn't have to deal with being ignorant, or you living up to be a stereotype of what a black person is. Believe me, I think a stereotype of being a black person right now would be the Afro bell bottom nonsense. That's going to be fight the power. I mean, I support fighting against racism no matter where it is, but. I kind of feel like you have to kind of be careful about what is considered racist, even more so. But I don't think that N word in any way, shape, or form should be taken like. I don't. And yeah, in light of the Paula Dean scandal, yeah, Paula, you had no room to say those things. I'm sorry, but you just didn't. And if you had made an apology, people would not have jumped you so much, I think. And it's a sincere one, like, I'm sorry for the use of that word. And yes, I use it on daily, that was wrong. I've learned my lesson, I'm sorry. And done. And if you're not taking the victim route, which a lot of times that happens, just like I said, it, it, that's what it is. It's taking the victim route. It's saying, Oh, well, when I was a kid, the N-word meant this, but now it means this. I mean, gay? Well, that used to mean happy. Yeah, it used to mean happy. Now it means homosexual, heterosexual, you know, someone who's not heterosexual and everything. Just like the word queer. I think at one point it meant weird, didn't it? And now it has moved on to be gay. I'm sorry, but if that's the case, well, then we're all queer. You know, and that's the truth. It's like, that if those group of people are a little off, it has nothing to do with their gender. That you know, gender orientation is a part of you. It does not define you. Just like me being black does not define you. Anyways, it's part of you. It does not mean as to find who you are. Anyways, um, I'm trying to think of what else I'm trying to come to mind about. Oh yes, um, yeah, we were discussing racism and racist terms. <laughs> Another would be if you watched uh, Boy Meets World. 
I never knew that they could get away with using a racist term on that show. Not that they couldn't. I mean, this was the 1980s and 90s, folks. But I do like the fact that they didn't use that word to be offensive. It was just a word that got used. It was at the time. It was just that, yes, it does have racism attached to it. Maybe it shouldn't be said in a public forum, but maybe we should remember our history kind of thing. And that's what we should be doing. The N-word should not be a joke. Okay? But what they used was like the... I believe, uh, Corey and, yeah, isn't, uh, wasn't the, it, it's offensive, he watched the show, I think it's the episode where, uh, Corey becomes the teacher or something, it's pretty good, I like the show, I've continued to watch it, TV, our time continues, the last, four, last ten years of our lives, but, however, I have a question to my viewership out there. What is your opinion on racism? You can put, please put it down. Please put it in the comments down below, you know, just, how do you define racism? What is considered racist? I mean, there's things that are universal, but, universally racist, but then there's some things that are not uh, just because of how, in some ne in some countries, it's offensive. I mean, in lots of countries, saying the word ape to someone like me, who has darker skin, is considered offensive. Because, uh, it just is. I don't know why, other than it's, you know, you're comparing a man to an ape. Um, another good example. Well, no, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry for for talking and rambling a bit. If anything, my personal view of racism is that we're all racist. Personally, it's anything offensive, anything that stereotypes a race. And, yeah. But I wanted to talk about it with my viewership. Please, like I said, put it down in the comments below and do me a favor and follow me on Twitter and Tumblr and look at my fa fan fiction and soon coming to my blog. Hi. Peace out. Oi, oi, oi.